take you on a quick tour of the inside of our tiny home, we'd love to show you some of the features that we've put on the inside. So come on in and join us and let me show you around. As you come in the tiny home, you have your living area as soon as you walk in. Um, you have a nice seating area on both sides so that you can have company. You have a little table that you can share uh, with your guests. If you look on the right hand side, you'll notice that we have a little small couch. Um, it is a good storage area underneath, so you can store things below it. You have plenty of room in the corner for some extra belongings. We have these two little tables that can be moved around so that you can put them in front of the couch, sit at the couch and eat, or if you want to sit there on your laptop and do some work or whatever it may be. So uh, try to utilize as many spaces as we could. Um, we put some storage up above you in a small storage loft. It might be a little easier to see in just a second. So we've got plenty of storage up there. If you turn on around back behind me here, you have your access up into the loft through a ladder. And this ladder can be moved left or right. So we can take it off or slide it down this bar and go either way. That way if you want to get into your clothes closet here or your pantry here, and it also has a microwave inside the pantry. So this is the pantry. We also have a water heater down below. And try to utilize as much space as possible or use of space we needed to be very efficient on. So we tried to make sure we fit as much as we could inside of these cabinets. We have some nice wood countertops, uh, good sized sink for our tiny house. And then we put a four burner range in with uh, a nice stove. Now this is a Fisher and Paykel range. Um, with an oven. Uh, we also put nice built-in cupboards in for dishes and any belongings you may have for your kitchen. Moving over to the refrigerator, we wanted to make sure you have plenty of room to store your belongings, so we put uh, basically a three-quarter size refrigerator, nice full-size, what I call a full-size refrigerator and freezer. So you have a nice freezer drawer down below. Again, this is a Fisher & Paykel fridge freezer. Moving on in, you have some privacy for your bathroom. You can shut the door, but still keep natural light inside uh, by having the, uh, the glass. Uh, you have a decent sized sink, a little medicine cabinet with a mirror, a standard toilet, and you can take a look on in there. And then you have a nice shower with wood walls. Now most people say, well, wouldn't wood walls be high maintenance? We used a marine grade product as far as the varnish and sealed it really well and waterproof behind it also. So a stall shower, 36 inches by 36 inches. And it's tall enough for somebody that's six foot six tall to be in there. So coming on back this way, you have a nice um, space for your living area. And then you have a nice size loft up above. And just standard light switches, but nice shiplap wood walls, nice trim, nice wood interior windows, but vinyl exterior windows. And these are integrity windows, low E, double pane. So uh, great window product. The more windows, the better. We want plenty of natural light. You can fit a queen size bed in the loft. Um, and that loft is a little over eight feet long. And it's got plenty of headroom height for somebody in my height uh, to sit up in the bed without hitting their head. 